Hi guys, Dr. Sean here. We're going to approach today something that I think is a major, major piece of why healthcare struggles. We compartmentalize too much. Now, it's a good thing that we do it for certain things. And what do I mean by this? Compartmentalizing means, an example, I had a young lady, brand new patient, walk in my door yesterday morning. She comes in with a neck and shoulder problem. Right? These are usually easy. They're home runs. There's nothing to them. Mechanical stuff is easy. But she's had it 15 years. And I'm thinking to myself, all right, well, who have you seen? She's been to multiple orthopedic surgeons, multiple physical therapists, and their routines and their stretches and their rehab. She's been to several chiropractors. She's done all kinds of injections and medications and painkillers and muscle relaxers. Nothing works. Why? They're barking up the wrong tree. And here's why I say this, and this is why I'm doing this video today. We're going to talk about compartmentalized care. I tell patients all the time when they come in and they'll ask me, Doc, you know, why didn't my doctor see this? Why didn't they find this at the hospital? How come my chiropractor missed this? I said, it's not their fault. Their education is compartmentalized. See, in internal health, that's one of the big differences of what we do from everybody else. We see the big picture. Healthcare today, whether it's allopathic or it's holistic, it doesn't matter. They bunch themselves into a box. When you think chiropractor, what's the first thing that comes to your mind? Back pain, neck pain, headaches. It's cookie cutter, right? But that's not what the profession was originally. Medicine. Your general practitioner doctor, do you think of the guy that does house calls and comes to your house anymore? Never. You think of the guy that writes your script to go see somebody else that's going to tell you what's wrong with you. And when you get there, if it's a heart problem, that particular doctor, if he's a gastro, ah, that's not my realm. You need to go over and see the cardiologist. The cardiologist will get there and say, well, you know what? Yeah, it's not really a muscle problem. It's probably an electrical issue. You need to go see an electrocardiologist. He'll get a hold of you and say, no, I don't think this is it. It's your thyroid. You got to go see an endocrinologist. You get to the endocrinologist and you say, ah, something's wrong. I'm not sure what it is. It's all in your head. Go see the psychologist. Now, there's nothing wrong with compartmentalizing like that. It means you're very, very, very good at the one piece you do. And if whatever walks in your door that day is that one piece, it's a home run. Think about a little kid's ball. My little boy, when he was little, had that red and blue ball. You probably all remember it, right? Half it's red, half it's blue, it's divided into things, but it has shapes in it. There's a circle, there's a triangle, here's a square, maybe a rectangle, and that star. Each of those fields compartmentalizes. The neurologist gets this one, the orthopedic guy gets this one, maybe you'll see the chiropractor who's always oh, got this one locked down. And as long as your problem is that, you're home free. But we need someone that sees the whole ball. That's what internal health does. There are only two fields left today in healthcare that look at the entire picture. Internal health and the ER doctor. The ER doctor does it under traumatic acute conditions, saving lives. And thank God they do. They're good at it. We do it under chronic degenerative conditions. You've had something. The life has been saved. Now find out why it won't go away. Look at the chronic diseases. Cancer, stroke, heart disease, diabetes, Alzheimer's. Any of those sound like fun. We have to start looking for what does the body need. You support normal function. Now, there's nothing wrong, again, with compartmentalized care, but it doesn't always work. And I'm going to use this young lady from yesterday to explain why. I'm just going to grab her history. That's what I took on her. She came in to see me. Neck pain. Right here. Problem. Everyone out there said, oh, I'd do this and I'd adjust that and maybe I'd stretch it this way. That's why I didn't go away. They didn't see someone's good enough. It's not the case. They saw someone that couldn't see the big picture. So let's go through here. Acid reflux for years. Gas and bloating doesn't stop. Chronic sinus infections for years. Abdominal pain. Irritable bowel syndrome. 
chronic constipation, migraine headaches, of course the neck pain, dry eyes. And she goes on. Oh, she had breast cancer at one point. She had T-cell lymphoma at one point. Irritable bowel, of course, we talked about. And you go through this, and she's got right arm pain, but not on the side that she had the neck and shoulder problem. That's every day. That's what we see. It's not, oh, my neck hurts, and here I am. There's a lot of people that can deal with what I call kindergarten care. There's nothing wrong with that. Those are easy. They're fun. There's great doctors out there that can do that work. But when you get into the problems where you really have something going on, you don't have one shape, you got nine. You have to see someone that knows what they're doing. And compartmentalized care is not designed to handle that. That's why we rank so poorly worldwide for healthcare. We're very, very, very good if the shape you walk in with is the one we have. We're a rock star. But man, if you walk in with anything else, we get in trouble. If I got a circle, it's going in that square hole. I'm going to pound it in with a hammer. Doesn't matter. That's what I got. That's what's going there. But it's not the right fit. This is what internal health is all about. This is why we do what we do. I see patients like this every day. This is how we help people. It's a lot of fun. Dr. Sean.